Hey loungers, what's up? Welcome back to another video. As you guys can tell by today's title, we're going to be doing a chit chat video. We're going to be talking everything postpartum, okay? I'm going to be sharing all of my postpartum feelings with you guys because I know there's a lot of moms out there who are probably feeling the same way and I just have some things I want to get off my chest, okay? So I'm just going to jump right in because I actually have my six-week appointment today. It has finally come. Um, and I'm more so looking forward to it because I get to find out more about my tubal surgery and my hernia surgery. And not only that, I'm ready to step on the scale. Okay. Um, here's what brought about this postpartum video. So I was in the mirror today and I was just looking at my body after this six weeks this technically this is my six weeks like i just am i was just kind of in the mirror just looking at my stomach and just analyzing my physical appearance okay so i come to the conclusion that i'm not happy with my body after the six weeks after giving birth now i know it takes time for a lot of people to get back to feeling like their self 100% and looking like their self. Probably not even 100%, but just looking like yourself. And I know a lot of people snap back the moment they got out the hospital. Their stomach is like right back. Kudos to y'all, by the way. Lucky y'all, by the way. Um, but with that being said, I'm not one of those people, clearly. Now, this, pre this previous pregnancy with Noble, I gained almost 40 pounds y'all when I stepped on the scale I was about my last at my last doctor's visit I was 200 pounds I've never been 200 pounds a day in my life so that kind of threw me for a loop so I knew I was gonna have extra weight after giving birth to her but I didn't expect to still look three months pregnant I believe it's affected me more because when I go out in public you have those people who don't really know you know what I'm saying? And they'll say, well, how far along are you? I just had a baby. Like, even though they don't understand. Like, it's not that they know. They're not trying to do it to be mean. But it's just what it looks like. It looks like I'm still three months pregnant. So, I can't really be mad at them. But it's just like, I'm just not happy with my body right now. Not only that, I still have cravings. And these aren't good cravings. These are cravings that are affecting my weight um craving sweets like i have to have sweets like i go to the grocery store to get either something to bake me and the kids are baking something i just have a sweet addiction like a sweet tooth for everything like and it's been like that since i was pregnant with her like i used to eat a whole bunch of sweet stuff which is probably another reason why i've gained so much weight but yeah so that's like, that's the number one postpartum thing that I'm had like, issue that I'm having is not the simple fact that I haven't snapped back to myself, okay? So, <laughs> let me drink some coffee. Let me get my coffee, y'all. Oh, it's so good. So, with that being said, it's nothing that can't be fixed. I'm not going to stress myself out about it too much. But I just wanted to share with you guys that I'm just, like, the postpartum weight snapback. It's not, everybody don't snap back. You know what I'm saying? So, even after, I feel like after I gave birth to Charlie, I lost myself as far as, like, my physical appearance. I kind of just, like, let myself go. And a lot of moms tend to do that. We tend to forget about us and more focus on our kids, which is okay, but we have to take care of us, too ladies mommies okay we have to take care of us too um while still loving and caring for our babies as well and with that being said i've decided i'm just going to start working out that's the only way i'm going to feel like me that's the only major issue that i have with myself as far as postpartum is concerned the weight just stuck to me so i'm going to start working out um i'm going to start eating better i'm going to I am going to stop eating sweets. I have to tell myself that. I was going to say I was going to try. But I'm going to stop eating sweets. And I'm just going to push for a better me. A better physical appearance of me. 
And of course, I'm going to take y'all on that journey with me because it's something that is important to me. It's something that I need to do for myself um, to make myself happy. And not only that, Quan actually has started his workout journey. Um, and we kind of joke, like I joke around with them, like as I'm eating my sweets, nothing to hurt his feelings, but you know, we joke, um, all the time, but he has strictly been meal planning and he's kind of motivated me to do so as well. Um, because it's something that we need to do. Like we as a couple need to be, feel better about our physical appearance. And with me being a mother, I need to learn how to take care of me as well. So that is just my major point. Like, I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about it because I know there's other moms out there that probably can relate like sis. We got to work on us. We got to focus on ourselves as mothers as well. Like I said before, like, it's just something that we have to do. We can't let ourselves go just because we've had kids. But those of you mommies who just snap back and be looking bomb and back and better <laughs> after you give birth, girl, be grateful because it's some of us out here who are really struggling to get back to feel like ourselves, And that's okay. Like I had to tell myself like, that's okay. It's nothing to be depressed about. I'm not depressed. I just want to throw it out there. I'm not depressed, but I know I want to better myself. I want to be in shape. I don't want to be walking around still looking three months pregnant with four kids. I mean, I just don't. So today I'm going to, when I go to the doctor, I'm going to get on the scale, of course, because they're going to take my weight and I hope I'm at like 150 I'm gonna attempt to lose 30 pounds I want to lose 30 pounds y'all and I like I said I'm gonna take you guys on my journey I also let me give myself some credit because I have been drinking a gallon of water a day I have a gallon jug of water that I drink a day and I'm not even I don't even like water I'm just being real like I've never been a fan of water so the only thing I've limited myself to drink is a gallon of water a day and cranberry juice. That's it. That's all I drink, which I feel like is a good start because if you know me, I don't really care for water, but I know I need it as far as breastfeeding and I just need water in my body regardless. So I'm going to focus more on me, y'all. I got to get back to feeling like myself. I cannot lose myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Also, I do want to talk about my postpartum breastfeeding experience. I just wanted to say I am beyond proud of myself. And not only that, I just can't, like, I can't even describe the feeling I have to be able to breastfeed and be successful at it versus my other, the versus the situation with my other kids. It just didn't work out. I became lazy. I just like, you know what? I don't want, I don't want to breastfeed. But now that I've been... I'm more knowledgeable about it. I've read so many different articles and just different things about breastfeeding. And me and Noble are doing really well with the breastfeeding thing. I've learned so many ways to increase my milk supply. I've learned all like different foods and things that I could make to help with my milk. Just so many things I've been educated on that I didn't know before that I'm so grateful for like so the breastfeeding has gotten a lot better I remember I put it up the video about the breastfeeding I was struggling we're a-okay now y'all like we're, we're in there she's getting chunky she's just cute as ever and I'm just beyond grateful for the simple fact that the breastfeeding has worked for us it's working out for us and I plan on continuing to breastfeed up until she decides okay I don't want no more of your milk but y'all know how that is those of you breastfeeding moms who probably still have their breastfeeding and y'all tired of it. I can't wait till I'm get, I get tired of it. But right now I'm enjoying the moment. And other than that, those are my postpartum feelings, y'all. I just wanted to share those with you guys because I was just sitting here thinking like, oh, girl, you're losing yourself. You got to do better. And I wanted to just let you guys know I'm going to be bringing you guys along for my workout journey. I'm going to go to... A planet fitness that's like literally like probably five minutes away from our house and see about a membership there but I'm gonna start here at home I will be letting you guys know how much I weigh I was gonna do like show you guys how I look but I'm not comfortable like I'm not even comfortable to show y'all what my my stomach okay like that's where I'm at with it like I don't even want y'all to see that I still look three months pregnant 
a lot of you guys probably noticed in some of my videos, I still have a stomach. Um, but like I said, that's okay. I'm not here to shame myself. I'm going to do better for myself and just get back to feeling like myself. So, I'm going to go ahead and go. I just wanted to share this quick little postpartum update and feelings with you guys because y'all are like my friends and my cousins and my sisters and my everything like y'all just very supportive of me and my family so I just wanted to share with you guys my thoughts and everything and just share my feelings overall because I know that some mommies out there can relate like and everybody's not perfect so I just wanted to do this video for us <laughs> um but yeah so I'm going to go ahead and go. I hope you guys enjoyed this small little chit chat video. I will be doing more videos like this. I don't really do chit chat videos, but I will be sharing my thoughts and my workout journey with you guys more. But if you want to see more videos like this, y'all know what to do. Give this video a huge thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please consider clicking that subscribe button down below to become a lounger. We love new loungers. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.